Edwards Life Sciences is a global leader in the area of medical device technology with a focus on heart disease. They operate internationally in 20 locations and they depend on their employees working successfully on teams. We are here interviewing Peter Lindwall, who has insights on the value of leadership and teamwork within their company. How much does Edwards Life Sciences value teamwork and the leadership it takes to run a global company? Edwards is very much a relationship-based company, uh, so building your network uh, very rapidly uh, is crucial to being able to work at Edwards Life Sciences. How does someone establish themselves when they join a new team of people they don't know? I would say that the key is to realize that nobody can do anything by him or herself. It's the team that does the work because of all the input we get from each other. Uh, therefore, again, uh, making sure that we don't think that we are the be-all, end-all. Uh, so I think, again, the key aspect is humility, willingness to learn, and a willingness to listen. The fact that there are so many cultures uh, within a team, be it age, backgrounds, personalities, what does it take to get everyone to work together? We certainly acknowledge our differences, but we work for the greater good of the company and the team and the project. So really, what we do is we transcend the, our differences and we become a well-functioning team uh, where the idea of helping patients become the primary focus. How important is it and how do you build networks and relationships outside of the team? You have to build your network and you have to build it fast. Take every opportunity you have to interact with other teams, with other business units, and if you have an opportunity to travel, then travel. Uh, and part of it is to build a network and to actually attach a, a face to the voice because that is very, very important when you start to work in remote teams. What are the key skills you want in a good team member? If he or she is going to make a promise that he or she realizes that they need to fulfill that particular commitment. What does it take to be a good leader on your team? Good team leaders uh, can uh, motivate the team, uh, can overcome the hurdles, can break through uh, when when uh, resources are needed or what have you, and simply keep the team uh, on the right track. I don't believe that the aim is to avoid conflict at all costs. Uh, I also don't believe that we talk about conflict as something where people are upset or yelling and screaming at each other, but conflict I think more in terms of disagreements and certainly, you can't have a well-functioning team unless you have some disagreements, uh, especially among creative people. The skill that the team leader needs to have is to recognize uh, if indeed a disagreement somehow starts to escalate and to be able to step in and manage that. Uh, but it, conflict in the sense of having differences of opinion, especially around uh, creative ways of doing things or creative problem solving, uh, that is not necessarily to be avoided. Uh, it's something that I think we need to have, but it has to be in a professional uh, context and it has to be managed correctly. Uh, but again, some conflict is good. What makes a superstar team leader? 
I believe that a superstar team leader is somebody that you just want to work for. Uh, somebody that has charisma, but also somebody that you know is willing to roll up his or her sleeves to actually get the job done.